Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to do part A of this question. We are given V1, which is 1, 2, 0, and V2, which is 0, 3, 1. Show that the set S consists of V1 and V2, span the space W, which consists of vector x, 2x plus 3z, and z for x and z real number. We also ask the dimension of the space W. Now to do this, you must understand what is the meaning of span. According to David Lay's text, Linear Algebra and its Applications, section 1.3, page 51. In the definition, it says that the spans of V1, V2 to Vp is the set of all linear combinations of V1, V2 to Vp. Say in another way, it's actually a collection of all x1, v1 plus x2, v2 all the way to xp, vp, where x1, x2 to xp are scalar. Now we are given w consists of the vector of the form x, 2x plus 3z, and z, where x and z are real number. So any vector in W can be within an x, 2x, plus 3z, and z. Now we split them up into two columns. One column consists of x, x, 2x, and one column consists of z, 0, 3z, z. So it can be written as the sum of these two vectors. Now factor out the x in the first vector, you get 1, 2, 0, times x. Factor out the z in the second vector, you get z times 0, 3, 1. That means that any vector in W is a linear combination of 1, 2, 0, and 0, 3, 1. So any W inside the space is a linear combination of 1, 2, 0, which is V1, and V2, which is 0, 3, 1. From here, we can conclude that, so W is spanned by V1 and V2. Now, since V1 and V2 are not multiple of each other, so V2 is not multiple of V1, so, V1 and V2 are linearly independent. Therefore, the set consists of V1 and V2, which is a set S now, is a basis for W now. As there are two vectors in the basis of W. Therefore, conclusion, dimension of W is 2. Since there are two vectors in a basis of W, that is the end of the recording.